day, evening, morning, or whatever time it is when you're watching this video. Um, this is Paul. I'm just uh, showing off a feature I've always kept a bit secret because it's never really been finished, and it still isn't finished. Um, it's my physical fire effect. Um, this is using um, just technology that ships with the UDK. In fact, this is the uh, an older version of UDK running. Um, this is before they added uh, Apex Fire support or Apex... Uh, Apex support for physics and things like that. Um, the physical fire effect is, in fact, a 3D effect. If I were to pause the calculations here and walk around it, it is, in fact, a fully 3D effect, and it is physically simulated. Um, I think it looks really awesome. Um, however, it doesn't take a keen eye to uh, see there is room for improvement, uh, mostly to the static movement of it. On a dynamic object that's moving around a bit, um, that has a bit of flow to it, um, it simulates pretty well. Um, however, it is statically it's sitting there it kind of gets confused and starts um, running laps around its uh, parent it's actually behaving really well right now um, there it goes there it goes yep and uh, after a while that just really starts to become unconvincing um, this will probably stay a work in progress I don't think I'm ever gonna um, finish this up mostly because I don't have any real reason to use this however um, if anybody else wants to pick this up um, I'll show you a few secrets. Um, in fact, it is a cloth simulation. If I switch to uh, wireframe mode, you can see that it is, in fact, just two um, oddly shaped cylinders with an upward wind force and a ridiculous um, amount of tweaking done um, and hair being pulled out to make them look realistic. And as I see, as you see, I uh, start um, misbehaving. Uh, quite suddenly if um, left to their own devices. Um, I'll switch back to lit mode. Lit. There we are. Oop. And um, but yeah, I think, listen, I, I might be a bit biased. It is my effect, but I think it's quite a stunning looking effect, um, especially under the right circumstances. Um, given a little bit more development, a bit more tools, I have a feeling this could be quite an amazing little effect. Um, but for now, it's just a work in progress. Um, if anybody wants the necessary files to have a look at it, um, just shoot me an email. Um, and leave comments below this video as well. Um, it's always good to get criticism, encouragement, or abuse. I mean, it's always good Any, either way. Um, this is Paul Stratton signing out.